Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the M Creator Minecraft mod making series, where today we're going to be taking a look at tools and armor. So you can get started by using the add new mod element and then a tool. This is going to be any kind of tool, so sword, hoe, shovel, whatever. But we are going to make an Ardanium sword. Let's make an Ardanium sword. Let's just hit create new tool. And first we're going to need to make a texture. So I'll do that real quick. If you haven't watched episode one, well, first of all, you should, because that's where I'm going to explain how to make some textures. But I'm just going to make one real quick right here. Now, guys, I'm sure someone who actually knew what they're doing, unlike me, could do a lot better. But I've just used M Creator's little tool generation thing. And we have our sword right here. We can now move on to the next page. Name and GUI will be Ardanium Sword. It's automatically filled that in for us. And the Creative Inventory tab, let's set it to Combat, because it is a sword. We'll also set the type to be a sword. Now, Harvest Level shows what type of tool it corresponds to, and which kind of blocks it can break. If you remember when we created a block, we would set the Harvest Level that it would be able to be destroyed at. So, for example, Obsidian can only be mined by a Diamond Pickaxe, which means it has a harvest level of 3. So we will just set this harvest level to 0 right here because it is a sword. Efficiency as well. It's not really a <laughs> pickaxe or anything, so we can just set it to 0. Now for attack speed, guys, I have right here the Minecraft Wikipedia page for sword. And you guys can see here, in Java Edition, we have all of the different stats for the weapons. So attack speed for absolutely all of them is 1.6. So I'm going to set the attack speed right here to 1.6. Now, melee damage, I'm sure we all know what that is. But, again, we can see it here on the wiki page. And now, diamond is 7. And I'm pretty sure we decided, I don't really remember, that this was going to be a bit less rare than diamond. So I'm going to put it at 6, which is equal to iron. I think that's a good number. Number of uses is actually the durability. And it says it right here. We have iron at 250, but I think it should be a bit better than iron, so let's make it maybe 300. Let me compare that to something else. Yes, stone. 300 seems pretty good, but instead I'm going to go 400. There we go. Repair items is the kind of item that you can use in an anvil to actually repair it. So if you didn't know, you can take a diamond sword, put a diamond in the anvil with it, and it will repair it. So we're going to put the repair item to be our Ardanium ingot right here. The glowing effect is sort of like an enchantment effect. I think that might be a cool effect for our Ardanium sword, but I'm going to leave it unchecked for now. Move on to the next page. This is where we can put procedures. Now, we haven't talked about procedures yet, but when we do talk about procedures, this is kind of where you can add the procedure so that it'll actually activate. But we're not going to talk about that right now. So now we can save our mod element. And we have our Ardanium sword. Now, if we were to do it once again, we can go and make a tool. Ardanium pickaxe. If I could spell. Create a new tool. I'll make a texture. Now, we're going to set the name in GUI to be our Ardanium pickaxe. Creative inventory tab to be tools. Type to be pickaxe. And for harvest level, 2 is iron. So, I'm going to set it to 2. So, it cannot break things like obsidian. And as for efficiency... That is actually that is actually something I'm pretty sure that's specific to M Creator. And I have a list on screen right now of all efficiencies. So iron, as you guys can see, is six. So I'm gonna set this to seven. So it's again slightly better than iron, slightly worse than diamond. As for enchantability, I have a little M Creator page right here. And we can see wood is 15, stone is 5, iron is 14, gold is 22, and diamond is 10. So they're kind of all over the place, uh, but if we want to put it in between iron and diamond, that means that uh, we'll probably go about 12. You know what, I think let's make this one a little bit more magical, I guess. So we'll make it a bit better than both of them. So enchantability will make it 16. That seems fairly nice. As for attack speed, every single pickaxe in the game actually has 1.2 attack speed so we'll put it on 1.2 damage if we go back to the wiki page for pickaxe you guys can see um they wooden and golden do two stone and iron 
three and four, and diamond and netherite five and six. So again, between iron and diamond, I think we're going to leave it at four. And as for number of uses, once again, back at the wiki page, we have 250 for iron and 1,561 for diamond. So similar to the sword, I'm going to go for about 400. Repair items, once again, Ardanium ingot. And we can finish up. Alrighty guys, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make every type of tool for Ardanium real quick. And I'll be back with you guys when I'm done. Now guys, as you can see, I have made an Ardanium sword, an Ardanium pickaxe, an Ardanium axe, a shovel, and a hoe. You can also make shears using this method, although I quite like just having the iron shears. But we could make an Ardanium pair of shears if we wanted to as well. Now I feel it's a good time to add crafting recipes, but once again, if you watched the last video, you already know how to do that. There we go, guys. I have now finished up making recipes for all of the tools, so I think we should go in-game and test them out. Alrighty, guys, so here we are within my little testing world thingy. <laughs> I got a bunch of Ardanium here, and I'm going to grab some sticks. We'll just get a stack of those, and if we come over here... We can make an Ardanium shovel, as you guys can see. We can also make an Ardanium axe and hoe. If I put in enough sticks, that is. There we go. We can make an Ardanium sword. And a pickaxe. So as you guys can see, these tools are really effective at killing monsters. Even if I'm not. And I mean, they work just like regular tools, as you guys can see. We have 400 damage durability I mean there and yeah honestly the only problem that I think now is that we don't have a pair of armor to go along with it so guys I think it's time to make some armor let's go add and armor we can do ardanium and armor this is not actually just one piece of armor this actually makes a full set which is really nice we can just do create new armor and we can check which pieces we want as well so if we don't want maybe a body we can Disable that, except what I'm going to do here is we're going to do Ardanium body, Ardanium helmet, Ardanium leggings, and Ardanium boots. And instead of body, I'm actually going to make it a chest plate, just to match everything else. And you guys can see we can click this to use all the advanced settings that we haven't really covered yet. And yeah, I'm just going to go quickly make some more textures for our armor. Alrighty, here we go guys. I got all of our stuff filled in. We can just go to the next page now. And we have to pick a creative inventory tab. I think combat fits very well. As for the armor equipment sound, we can just look for the equipping sound. And here we have item.armor.equip and a bunch of different versions. So I'm going to pick the iron one. I think this is most similar to iron. As for maximal damage that armor absorbs i will have a chart for that on the screen right here so you guys can see that 15 is chain and 22 is diamond so i'm gonna set it to like 17 maybe that seems pretty good 18 there we go now guys for damage values this is going to be the this is going to be the little icons that appear above your health that show your armor so if we go to our Minecraft wiki page for armor and defense points you guys can see if we go to iron for example the full set is 15 and helmet is 2 and for diamond it's 3 so I think we're going to make the helmet 2 not 22 2 uh, the chest the chest plate is 6 5 and 2 and that is the default right here and I think we're going to be good to stick with it I think I'm going to make the chest plate actually do one more there we go as for enchantability, I'm going to stick with 16. Pretty nice. Toughness. This is actually, if you take more damage, your armor will absorb more damage. By default, it's zero for every armor piece, but diamond has two. So I'm going to set this to one. And for repair items, we can use our Ardanium ingot. Now, I left the hardest one for last, which is the name of texture file. Now, this gets really interesting because we actually need to supply a texture for the Ardanium armor set. Now guys, I have opened in poor man's Photoshop our first 
iron armor texture. I have changed it to look like Ardanium. I'll leave the download for both of them in the description. We're going to do one more after this. But what we can do here is we can just export this. Um, yep, so I feel like this looks pretty good as Ardanium. And now what we're going to do is we're going to open the layer number two, which is this right here. Uh, if we go on to layer two and zoom on in, you guys can see this is like the leggings and other things. So I'm going to real quick make this look like Ardanium. Alrighty guys, now that that's done, we can just export that as PNG once again. And now we have Iron Layer 2 and Iron Layer 1. So what we can do is come back to M Creator and go under the Resources tab right over here. We can do Import Textures, Import an Armor Texture, and we can browse for both of our files. So if we go to Downloads, I saved it in Downloads for some reason. Uh, we have Iron Layer 1 and we have Iron Layer 2. Now once we got that, we can press on OK. And you guys will see we have our textures for armor all right on here and we can go back into the Ardanium armor and select the texture as you guys can see it'll specify there's the helmets there's the boots there's the body and there's the leggings so let's go into our next page and again more procedures that we're not going to be worrying about yet and we can save the mod element and go back and you guys can see Ardanium armor now we're going to need to once again make recipes for these so give me a sec now guys here we are back in my little testing world and we can see that we can craft our Ardanium helmet and our leggings, our chest plate, and our boots. And if we put them on, we are looking very dapper and ready to fight some mobs. Now guys, here we are, killing off some creepers, looking awesome, new armor. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this tutorial on how to make your Minecraft mod. I'll see you guys next time. Good bye.